All right, sorry about that uh, delay there. That moment when you are right in the middle of the live stream and realize that your stomach has taken over control. The joys of getting older. All right, so what we're wanting to do for right now is pick out a weapon. In this case, we're going to use a one-handed sword. Lots and lots of them to look at the models here. And the only reason why I'm looking at the models, well, I want to get an idea of what we can do to look at it, the cosmetics of it. But let's actually go down here to our, hey, welcome, our test mod here. We already have a tables. So what we want to do is create a table so that we can actually um, make our custom stuff. So just we're going to right click here. Go to miscellaneous and data table, and we're gonna do the first one. It's gonna be from our items table. So what we're gonna do is pick here, come down here, item table row, and then okay, and then I'm gonna call this BBG items, and then I'm gonna create another one that's gonna be the same thing. We're going to come over here to miscellaneous data table, and we're going to have to search for this one because, we'll, and we can look through and see some of the things that we actually have here as I'm going down the list looking for the one that I want. Um, item table thrall. You got um, gameplay tags, footstep data, weapon material table, die colors, purge config info. Um, yeah, loot table row, loot table weighted row. There's a lot of stuff you can choose from to actually edit your your columns with. But what we're wanting is the recipes, the recipe table row. So now, click OK, and I'm going to call this BBG underscore recipe. Now, those are the primary two that I'm going to use for this example. And if you guys got questions, go ahead and jump in there and ask too. So. Um, what we're creating here is our item but what I also want to do is I want to go to the actual items list first by clicking on the weapons folder scroll down and you have not this one um, the items folder and click on item table to double click on it to open it up so now what we want to do is we want that sword and you know we can scroll through here and the very first sword that we come up with is something we can use for an example. As you really scroll through we can see all the different items. We're not going to scroll through the entire list I promise. Uh, today's drink of choice a Mountain Dew throwback with real sugar not that fake crap. So if you don't want to sit here and scroll through, well, geez, where is the um, a sword I can use to, to copy from? And we'll show you a shortcut on that, but scroll down to the bottom of the list, and, and you start seeing, like, there's these huge numbers right here, you know, in the millions, and you got this huge gap from 91,309 to, oh, good God, what is this, 9 million and 6? So create your own custom number range for the custom item you're going to make. Don't be fiddle farting with it in here, but just get an idea of where the numbers are on this. And I'm going to go ahead and pick a generic one to use for my mod. But if you're trying to scroll through and find a sword you can use as a, um, a reference item, I'm just going to go to the search block and type in sword and blood. Why does blow? Okay, there's sword in the long description. Um, that can help narrow it down. And okay, where the hell's the first sword? Weapon repair kits. So I just want to find a sword to use as an example. It's a great sword. Tell us lament. That is a one-handed sword. So let's go with uh, with that. Let's 
star metal sword. It doesn't really matter which one we're using right now, but um, yeah, the star metal sword is good enough to, to work with. The reason why I've got this open is I can see what they did in this item table. So now when I go back to my item table, I'm going to go ahead and close that out. Go to my tables folder. I'm going to do a quick save all just to make sure. So go into the items and we have nothing in here and get your ass up there. Nobody told you to be there. So we need to create a new one. So if we wanted to copy the information from Star Metal Sword, doesn't matter which variation of that. So let's go in here and we hit plus. Now, name. Um, I'm going to call this a BBG Sword of Doom. Call it whatever the hell you want. Short description. Hack ass sword from the demo stream. Long description. This is a long ass description of the hack ass sword made in the live stream you monkey boy but whatever you want in there icon well what are they using well just using this right here so let's actually look at icon we'll type in icon um mm. Star, what did they put in there? Icon underscore star underscore metal. Okay, so kind of follow theirs and use their icons. Icon underscore star underscore metal underscore one hand sword. Lovely. Item class, well, hmm. Under item class, it is a BP game item weapon. So we can come over here and when we click on the item class, we can just start typing it in. And it's not a projectile weapon, it is a game item weapon. Building class. Ooh, okay, so what do they use? None. Visual object, sword one hand. Okay, visual object. And. You can really just copy over what you're wanting to do here. Um, BP sword one hand. Is that what they use? They just use sword one hand. Okay. Sword one hand. Gotcha. Action blueprint use. Um, nothing. Max stack size is one, and equip location is one. So that would tell me that um, we need to definitely make sure that we can't stack our swords. Zero must be inventory, one must be main hand. And the GUI category is weapon. That should be the same. Yep. Now, visual static mesh. SM underscore, well, we'll just do star metal when we do our search. And we'll do star metal. SM underscore, okay, we got it. And see, that's blue, and that's not. Um, so just want to make sure you're copying the star metal underscore sword. SM one hand star metal sword. I want to make sure it's right, because that's showing, yeah, that's static mesh. It's just, for some reason, not showing that the blue color that is a static mesh. They're putting a visual destructible mesh as the same thing, but you know it's got DM at the end for a destructible mesh. So, star metal. And we just need to look for that one-handed sword.
one hand sword DM. All right, so the next thing, you now we just have to, to pay attention to what we're doing here and look at these different ones here. Sound physical surface nine. We want to make sure we cover all of these things over because we want it to be just like the original one, but with our new custom name and our new custom stats. And now we're going to go to weapons. It is a sword, one hand, sound transmitter type three. So we know that it is a sword, one hand, sound transmitter type three. Do they have anything in these columns? No. Stamina cost. Here's where it can become fun here. They're doing five for the stamina cost. Well, screw that. We only want it to cost one. Zero, zero, zero. Next one is weapon speed. Heavy charged modifier. It's so one, 2.8, and then ones. All right, so in stamina cost, they put theirs in encumbrance weight is 2.8. We want to make ours even lighter. We're going to make it one pound. So weapon speed, heavy charged. All right, so one, one, and that's fine. So we, we make it one. We could actually make it lighter if we wanted to, but whatever. It's good enough. So let's look at um, attack. Cone angle, 35 and 250. I wouldn't really mess with those too much. 35 and 150. The damage health, light on hit, heavy on hit. So I'm assuming this is going to be... Yeah, I'm assuming that's going to be our damage, it's 45. Well, we want to do those same things, but we're going to amp it up just a little bit. We're going to put it as 100 and 100. Might be a bit excessive, but I don't care. We're making a cool weapon. It's going to be hackish. I don't care. Max attack reach is 180. Max attach reach 180. We don't want to have a sword that reaches 50 feet out. Um, we want it to be a little closer to original, but with our own little thing. Item tier is 4. Eh, item tier is going to be 1. Armor penetration. Wow. 0. Yeah, screw it. 0 0.1. So armor pen is going to be 0 0.1. Just kind of make it up as you go along. And the damage tier, steel damage type. Okay. Everything else is cleared out. Knockback data. Well, this is where you can get a little bit crazy on things. Your knockback offense basic, you get 10 and 10. So we're just going to copy that for now. We can play around with those values later. Durability. All right. Max durability is 1170. Let's round that up to a nice even 2000. And that is the max durability. Want to make it a little bit stronger. And repair items. Okay, here's where it can be interesting. If you want to go to repair your sword, what are you going to repair it with? Okay, and how much XP do you get from repairing it? Um, well, hmm. Well, repair item ID 1 
let's go with um, let's make it simple well with the dev kit you just keep watching we're going to be making mods and stuff this is showing a basic example of we're, we're making a sword um, that's got super stats and easy to work with so the repair item we want to use um, stone which is 10,001 is the ID I just happen to remember that um, the, the amount we want oh let's make it take five stone to repair it um, the weight is one all right, so that's all we want. We don't we don't want any complicated recipes. If you want them, then you can repair item two at another um, ID there, the quantity there, and the weight there, the things that it must be accountable for. So, how much XP do we want from repairing our sword? Well, we want um, the original one was like 125, but we're gonna do. 2500 experience for repairing our sword. Remember, this is just being stupid. You know, we're not trying to be... We're not trying to balance anything. The first modifier is legendary weapon cripple. Huh, lovely. So let's take a look at that. First modifier is... Well... If we click on the drop-down boxes, we're not going to be able to do anything there. So let's actually look. We have legendary weapon and cripple... Um, well, let's come back to that because I want to look at how they're actually getting this information because I would like to use um, as much of this as I can, but I would like to, to add our, our weapon needs to have bleed and it needs to have cripple. So I'll come back to that. We'll look for a different item in here or like a dagger. Repairs, I'm going to cover that. If, if, for the cost to repair, you put how many, like, the, well, this is my example here. And the repair, max durability, repair item one, it's going to require us to have stone, five of them, and that's going to be five stone for doing our, our repairs. So I'm going to come back to the modifiers. Um, hunger, food, and drink amount. Well, we're we're talking about a sword here, so do we really want to add the um, hunger or thirst? I'm not gonna mess with that. So I want to look at this. So let's actually come over here. We're in the main table, the original table. We're not gonna modify, and look at a dagger. Um. Stone skinning knife, no. Snake bite. Oh, me likey. All right, snake bite, and it just says high grade weapon and bleed. So let's go ahead and put. The, um. Weapon in the second one. They did caps, yes. And we're going to do bleed and cripple. And no, you're talking about the loot tables? So just look at the loot table. Um, after we get this created, we then need to be able to, to find a way of getting it in-game easier um, it's easy enough to do if you just put it in there with admin panel but what if we want to make it to where it's craftable then we'll look at that as well so first modifier we uh, we want something simple like a uh, Uh, let's see, metal. Let's look at steel or iron. Two handed iron sword. And we'll just put it as mid grade or low grade, doesn't matter. 
low grade. Okay. Um, that's pretty much got it. We don't need the reference to this anymore. But what we do need to make sure of before we, we do anything on this, we don't have a row name for it yet. So if you're going to be creating a mod, you need to go ahead and establish yourself a, um, uh, a number system. Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Well, that's fine, but let's go ahead and add uh, zero one at the end because this is number one of that series. What I've done there is okay. How many of you are astute enough to know what eight six seven five three zero nine or eight six seven five three zero nine that number and the significance of that number? So, and then I'm adding a zero one on there. So this is my my pre mod my pre set. I'm not using the right word there. Um, the prefix for my numbers for my mod is going to all start with eight six seven five three zero nine, and then the first item that I'm working on is this hacky ass sword, and there we go. So it's going to be zero one. So now we have an item number of 8675309901 is the item number for our actual BBG Sword of Doom. Alright, so next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and hit file and save. So we have this, but how do we craft it? So let's close that one. And let's look at the BBG recipes, and we need to look at the recipe table, the normal recipe table. And yeah, we can just pretty much use anything as an example here. And then I'm going to come back to my mod folder and go to the tables folder, go to BBG recipes, and we don't have anything in here, so we want to use that same number, add new, get your punk ass up there in that. Our number is going to be eight six seven five three zero nine zero one, and if we don't remember our information from this, we can always open up that other table and get that information from it. So we know eight six seven five three zero nine zero one. We call it the BBG Sword of Doom. Well, I'm going to love click in there one time, Control C, go back into my recipe, and Control V, and there we go. Short description, we can do the same thing, Control C, and Control V. Recipe type is weapon, that's lovely. Time to craft. Now, this is where it can be interesting takes five seconds to craft. This is going to be in seconds. So we want to take, say, we want to take five seconds to craft. Tier, well, we left it at tier one. Craft XP. We want 2,500 XP for crafting it. Sounds lovely, right? Crafting stations and required fuel. Huh. Crafting station of 89401. What is that? 80... 89401. It's pretty common that it's actually being used here. So what type is that? So we can always scroll down and actually find the 89401 is the carpenter's bench. We don't want to make it from the carpenter's bench. We want to make it... What is something that actually fits or is crafted in our normal inventory? Um, uh, crap. Um, sandstone foundation. Crafting station zero and zero fuel. So there, that's what we're looking for. Zero and zero. So that means we should be able to then 
craft that in our inventory instead of actually at a table somewhere. So no matter where we are, we can craft one of those. All right, so the icon. We want to use the same icon that we used here, which was icon star metal one hand, blah, 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 blah. So we do icon underscore star underscore metal underscore one hand underscore sword right there. And building mode. Well, this is where it's going to be interesting. So we can go back to this and we want to. Building mode is none. Let's look at. Oh. Building module is none. Okay. So we're going to use this two handed sword as our example to, to work off of here. So let's keep going down our recipe. Our ingredient. What ingredients do we need? Well, recipe item flags. Do we need anything in recipe item flags? No. Okay, so um, we're going to keep it simple. It requires stone, which is 10,001. We want to use five to build it. Sounds good, right? So this is our recipe. It's built with five stones, and that's it. Now, result one ID. Here's where we need to use the same number that we already have because we're creating this item. So let's use eight six seven five three zero nine zero one and the result quantity is one. So when we do this, we're going to create this. Now if we want the result two, if we want to create the super taco of awesomeness, the, we, when we create this uh, sword, if we wanted to also give us another item, we would put it here for result two ID and quantity. We're not going to do that. We don't need that. Is recipe enabled? Yes. Um, map marker icon? No. We don't need anything else in here, I don't believe. Um, yeah, I think we're good here. Exile's journey trigger craft weapon. Okay. Well, we'll put that in here. And let's just left click here. Control C. Go here. Journey trigger. That's so we, when we craft it, it's going to give us, you know, hey, craft a weapon. That's going to be one of your, your things you have to do. So why not let it do that automatically? So craft a weapon, that's cool. Everything else sh should be good. So let's hit file and save. Now, the next thing we got to do, which is going to be important, let's close these down because we no longer need those is we go back to our mod controller. Since we've already opened, it's going to open up pretty quickly. Um, and we want to merge data tables. I'm going to link that together here. And the first one we're going to merge is the item table and the BBG items and then we also want to do the same thing. We want to merge data tables because we're, we're merging one. We're not taking things out and, and adding new things. We're just adding new things. So same thing right here. We want to recipe table and to be added to the data table is my BBG recipe. BBG, in case you haven't figured it out, Beef Bart Gaming. All right. So we're merging those two data tables in so that we have the ability to craft, and that's all good. We're going to compile and save. Um, however, I'm not exactly sure how we can force that to be in that initial list. We've set it up as Tier 1, so hopefully it should show up. 
But the next thing we're going to do is we want to we want to package it. We want to build it. We want to test it. We can want to go into the game and play it. Because right now, if I hit play, it's going to play in this this editor window, and we'll be able to see the basics of it. It's going to take a few minutes for this to kick in. And it's going to load a bunch of crap, and then it'll finally pop up, and then you're seeing this in real time. I'm not going to sit here and pause the video so you can wait. You know, see. No, you're seeing it in real time. We'll go through this, we'll look at it here, and then we're going to go ahead and build it and package it. And then I will show you how to find the location of where it is, because that was a pain in the ass, so that we can manually copy it into the game. Already have a character created, so. Alright, so we're in here. Yay! The corpse. Lovely. Because I flew up in the air, screwing around, doing something, and yeah, nonetheless, hit I to open up our inventory. And again, it will take a few moments. So let it do its thing. And you can see it doesn't show up in our, our normal crafting list here. Um, it's not in our inventory. Um, yeah, so I don't remember the keys to actually go into the um, the admin panel from here. It's just not showing up. But I'm going to go ahead and just hit escape. Let it exit that. And let's just say that we, we've got it all, and it's all awesome, and it works, and it's great. Um, our new item is called the BB, BBG Sword of Doom. We know what it's called. We know what the item ID is. Oh, that's great. Let it do its thing. It's not broken. It's going to take a few minutes after you hit escape for it to, to finally close it all out. Um, it's just normal. But, today, uh, thank you. How about that? Alright, so, we're back in here again. Dev kit. You just click on that big button right there. BBG test mod. The author is Beefalo Bart. I'm not worried about URL. This is version one description. This is a test mod only. Change notes. I am not changing the notes. Buttocks. Nope. Monkey. Um, preview image. Select preview image. Click on that. Pick out a, um, a PNG. I'm just going to use the standard one. And yes, tell it to import. It'll import the file, and there it is. There's your preview. Alright, so now all I want to do is build mod. Building mod and building might take a long while. Do you want to continue? Yes. Okay. Now, let it do its thing. We only did one quick thing. Polygon tutorials um, on my Discord channel. Well, what? Well, pretty much, it's, it's on the same channel. So all you got to do is just um, uh, just do a you know my channel. Just click on it to get the information, and just do a search there through the videos. Um, they're all kind of mixed in over the last few months. On those, if you got any specific questions about the uh, the Polygon stuff, um, just ask me in the uh, questions and answers on my Discord channel, and I'll get to them. Um, I've been doing a whole lot with uh, the the Polygon stuff. I still like them, don't get me wrong. It's just that I've been kind of stuck in the um, Conan Exiles world for a little bit. Your BDG gaming is really close to my BBG, Beeflo Bart gaming. So, but yeah, the, the polygon stuff's cool. I like it. Um, yeah, that's, um, if you go to the cog-demos in my Discord, there's actually links to a bunch of different little um, demos and stuff there. Plus, there's actually on um, itch.io, 
I actually put um, an actual version on there. I actually have not been developing on those because, I, like I said, I've been stuck in Conan. Um, yeah, I'm not going to look at the, the cooking mod um, the list, the output log, because it's going to show a lot of failures, but it, they're, they, they're not failing. It's kind of false hope, uh, false doom if you you let that and you know, watch that. Yeah, I mean, if you got any questions about making stuff with that, just let me know. Um, uh, the polygon stuff, absolutely awesome, because you, there's so much cool stuff in those asset packs from the developers that you know they're well worth the money. You know, I, I bought a bunch of them when they were on sale, and it's like a bit of overload at first. And I had to like push myself away and I focused in on like the city pack and the um, the the heist pack, so I could bring the guns in and combine all the the modern stuff. But then the more I look at it, um, the hack and slash stuff is not really my my ball game, but still cool. Um, had a template that I was using that I, um, I got from the marketplace also for uh, uh, sword combat. Primarily it's one-handed and, and shield. Um, but, like I said, once I started playing around with this stuff, then it's just as easy for me to go ahead and do these mods and just do it in Conan. Just make Conan work for what I want to do. So um, I haven't found the horses to work yet in the game. They haven't finished those. The only problem with it is I don't know how far they've gotten on their blueprints. I haven't looked at them yet. I don't know if they're actually doing the... Uh, um, got their replication set up correctly yet in there. I really don't feel like going through their replication stuff and making sure all that works in multiplayer. Because whatever mod that I'm working on for myself is actually going to be for a private server that I play on. And it's actually not public. It's It's hidden from public view. Um, this should be almost done. It doesn't really take all that long. Whenever you only have like one minor change, we've only we're only changing two tables here, so it should not take very much longer. The mod that I did for the the recipe change on the the map room, you know, it's a pain in the butt to finally go out there. That's no problem, man. To, to go through all the effort to actually finding and getting the map room and then to find out that the map room requires to, to build some outlandish crap pack generation completed everything is good to go mod successful built successful is ready to use the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Windows Explorer. You just a little tab down here for your folders, and go to Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Conan Exiles, Conan Sandbox, and Mods in that Mods folder, okay? And have that open and ready to work with. And also right here, the Built Mod folder. We're not going to publish it in Steam because this is something we're working on privately. We're going to go to that Mod folder, and there, well, you. There it is. You can see it right there. It's right there. And it's, yeah, I had it on a different monitor. Sorry. Um, so it automatically goes to the location where your saved one is. And now you go to your other version of the Explorer you've got up. And now let's take it. And we're going to right-click, drag, drop, and copy here. And we're going to add our test mod pack in there. And we're just going to drag these off of their screen because we don't need them anymore and now I don't have all my scenes and everything set up but to be able to test this in the actual game what we're gonna have to do is close that we want to save all and we have to exit the editor because technically what's happening is if you were to look at Steam Conan Exiles is running so that being said, we're going to actually have to close the editor and 
there we go. Now, once we've closed it, we'll watch, and it's going to say Conan Exiles. Yes, i got a bunch of games in here. Um, at some point here, it's going to stop running. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and you might see the screen go black here and there, but just bear with me. I'm going to go ahead and play. I don't use BattleEye because the, the online server that I play on, they don't have it set up. And honestly, the game loads faster without that BattleEye crap on there. We don't have to worry about hackers and cheaters and shit like that because we are the hackers and cheaters and, and shit like that. So, I don't like BattleEye. It's, you know, if I don't have to have it installed, I'm not going to put it in there. I'm not going to be playing on any public servers. So, the other scene should be set up. I have got to go back through, and I'm using a different uh, OBS version than I was using before, and set up my keys. Now, it says it's running. I don't normally leave it on this particular screen here. I usually have it on my, my left monitor, and I noticed that it has some problems here and there. So... All right, this is fine. UE4, huh? How about that? Nvidia, yes, I have an Nvidia video card. Mm -hmm. Fun.com. All right, so it makes all of my monitors go black all at one time. So what I want to do now is switch over to. Should. There we go. So, what I want to do is now go to mods, and you see BBG test mod, the one we just did. That's my other mod there. I've got taken out temporarily. So we're going to take that one, and we're going to click there, refresh, click on BBG test mod. There's our information. I'm not changing the knots. What? Buttocks monkey. I spelled that incorrectly there, but. Now we hit back, and you must restart the game. Oh, no. So, yes. Now, as soon as I do that, you guys are going to go... It's going to go black again, because I, there's no point in changing the scene over just for um, a couple seconds. Just kind of wait for it to not say running again, and then go back into the game one more time. It doesn't automatically restart the game. So, we're going back in-game now. And the mod should be active. We're going to look at it just to be on the safe side. And you guys, sh you guys should have video here in just a second. There we go. So, just want to go ahead and get back in here. We're going to look. Mods. Yes, it is selected. And the hell. It's a weird stuff there. Single player. I don't know what the hell's going on, but my screen keeps going black. You guys are seeing things normal. We're just going to hit continue. Um, it may be problematic, and I'm having some definite issues on the center monitor. I don't know what the hell's going on with that. The view is normal. I can actually see everything working fine on the stream. If you guys see any problems, let me know. So we just want to let the game load up, and we're going to test it inside the actual game. We should have everything there, but just want to make sure. Yes, everything takes forever to load. Turn my volume down just a little bit, just so it's not bleeding back through the uh, the microphone. It shouldn't be, but yep. Oh, and twelve. If you're watching the video, it's Cog Demos. You're in the public lobby. There's a questions and answers, and then Cog Demos. Go into that folder and you sh or that channel in my Discord, and you'll see it. Cannot tab out of Conan Exiles. It just does not like it. The screen absolutely shits up, and yeah. So 
So we're just gonna wait for this to pop in here. There we go. So now we're in game. Yes, that's the map room. If you have not built one of these yet, okay, wait for everything to load up. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like when you build the map room. It is freaking huge. So if you think about it. Look at the room size you're going to need to build, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to need at least an eight by eight room just to have this in here. Minimum size. But it's absolutely cool as hell to have this visual 3D model inside your, your house. Then what you would do is you would go over here to this, I would assume, and, oh, bracelet not attuned. You would go to the different spires or whatever the hell these things are called. I plan on changing this on my my main mod. So come over here and you would be able to teleport to Bob's house. Or you come over here and you want to go to Beefalo Bart's house. Or come over here you want to go to wherever. Instead of having like a spire here and to get to this spire here you have to go here. I want placeable teleport locations which are selectable here with the um, the stuff that's on here. So if you look you've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, ten different locations so why not allow yourself to, to make your own ten locations. So let's go into our inventory. I got a bunch of stuff learned already in here. Um, well, first off, I may or may not see it in this, so what we're going to do is hit Escape, Settings, Server Settings, Make Me an Admin, hit Escape, go to the Admin panel, and now we have this. This, after doing a mod, it takes a few seconds for it to actually load up, and we're just going to do a search for BBG, under Gear, Building, Other... It shows up right there, BBG Sword of Doom. And we just added it to our inventory. Number four. There we go. We have the item that we just created. And I want to go back in here to the admin panel. And I want to make sure we're in god mode, no sprint cost. GTA 5, what, modding on GTA 5 or just playing on them? Yeah, they, um, the cog-demos room in the public domain of my Discord channel has links to download a bunch of the, um, the Polygon stuff that I made. Alright, so I'm going to turn on no sprint cost, and I'm going to disable eating by unchecking there. So now... Oh, um, yeah, um, Crusher, if you can let him know, I, I can't type while I'm in-game, but let me just walk down here, and I want to wax it with our new sword. This is the BBG Sword of Doom that we just created. Put the smack down on that ass. That's not bad, but it's not applying the bleed. So let's right click and do our alternate attack. There's our cripple. But it didn't apply bleed. Alright, so quickly take a look again. That is the BBG Sword of Doom. Very awesome. We don't need the map room in here. BBG Sword of Doom, hack ass sword from the demo stream, health damage 100, armor penetration 10%, low grade bleed, weapon cripple. Yeah, okay, everything works. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and end the stream, and I'll answer his question. I cannot type in chat while I'm inside the game. Sorry. Um, go ahead and quit game, and I'll change the scene over. Give me one second. Oh no, I'm being killed. Alright, so... Yeah, 
I can't type. All right, so that's that. All right, guys. Um, want to thank everybody for watching this, and that was quickly creating a sword. Um, I will actually go ahead and play around with it a little bit more, tweak a few settings on it, and if you have any other ideas of what we want to work on next for our test mod, then let me know. Um, so, uh, if you want me to continue this series, let me know. If you want to see more things, like, uh, I don't know, more, more, more items, custom items, things or whatever, um, I will actually get in more detail and more mods and development of mods as we go but I would like some input from the community you guys to let me know in my, in my discord channel because I can see that at all times even if it shows that uh, I'm invisible right now it's because I'm streaming or I might be cooking or I might be away from the computer I will see the messages just drop a line you don't have to mention me just drop a question in the public lobby if it's just a general question or question and answers is specifically for asking questions and getting answers but for the public lobby just throw su suggestions like hey um, for the mod or for the videos can you show how to do something uh, I know Black Sheep had a um, an issue where he's trying to do a roof and we'll look at that in the next video I just want to get people in tune with the basic portion of creating it yeah, I'll do some more gaming, actual playing. Um, I'm actually going to do another stream a little bit later on. I've completely rebuilt my house on um, Conan Exiles. And I want you guys to see the changes to the house. The last video I did on setting up on it, I set it up right there next to the water. And it was just one basic thing. And it was kind of cool. I liked it. It was functional, but I just kind of I wanted something a little bit different. So what I'll do here is... Um, I'm going to have some lunch, and then I will get set up, and I will actually stream the game here a little, little bit, resort my mods, and get back to the online server, which doesn't have but one mod on there. And it's one mod that I suggest everybody have, and it should be part of the game, but it's a pickup plus mod. If you're the author of that, freaking kudos, dude. Um, yeah, the pickup plus mod is well worth grabbing. But... Like I said, I'll do some more play later because I want to show off what I'm doing with my base and how I'm setting it up. And cautionary, there may be titties. I'm sorry, there may be nipples. I mean, there may be nudity. Um, because I, I play on a server and I'm a grown-ass man and I can handle seeing titties and nipples and the occasional sausage. Um, I'm a grown-ass man and, and hopefully you guys are grown up enough to understand that it's just body parts and it's just a video game. So... Yeah, we have full moodity engaged. Yeah, I'll, I'll actually stream here shortly. Like I said, I want to get some lunch and um, take care of mother and take care of a few things really quickly, and then I'll do another stream where I'll we're we're talking maybe an hour at the very most, and I'll actually go into Conan Exiles and walk around the house, show you the current way that I've got it set up, um, and what my plans are to finish up the house and to prepare it for the next wave of attacks. The last two have been wolves. So, eh, not that bad. They were a little on the rough side, but, you know, my character's only level 40 out of 60, so, yeah. But, like I said, give me about 30, 45 minutes to an hour, and let's get something to eat, take care of bomb, and take care of a few things, and then I'll go ahead and stream some, um, some Conan Exiles. Alright guys, we will see you soon. Thanks for watching.